Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. You beautiful place. That's uh, old time Baton Rouge. Yeah, I used to have. I used to be a member of the Camelot Club right. when we were doing a lot of. Uh, Politic and well, not politic, and we call that lobbying uh, over in Baton Rouge, uh, J E and I. Uh, anyhow, uh, there was a, a waiter that uh, I, I got to talking to and I introduced myself, and uh, his name is uh, Kendall uh, Tyrell. And uh, I said, I'm from Opelousas. Well, he said, You may know somebody there that comes here some pretty often. I said, Who is that? He says, Mike Thibodeau. I said, Mike is a lobbyist for. Uh, mm -hmm. Power Company. Power, Clico. Got it. C Clico. He says, well, yeah, you sure know him. I said, he was our former mayor sure. in Opelousas. I know him very, very well. I got Mike on the phone, and I gave, I gave the, and they visited on, on the cell phone. Today, it's Welcome so back. easy yes, to, to visit with friends like that. Oh, yeah. And uh, anyhow, the Camelot Club is still just as uh, good a food as uh, they had way back when I used to be a member there. Dr. Kerry Thibodeau, if you're looking for a general surgeon, Dr. Kerry Thibodeau is your man. Remember when you see your doctor and he says, well, I think that maybe we need to look in finding a, a general surgeon for the problem that you have. This is the guy you want to talk to, board certified general surgeon. He's a wound care expert. Maybe you've got diabetes type issues, maybe vascular issues with with um, varicose veins. Maybe it's, it's uh, skin not healing from a surgery. It's skin not healing from your diabetic type issues. He can handle all that, Dr. Kerry Thibodeau, over at the Opelousas General Health System. And how about one more? Let's go with Steamboat Warehouse. Get mama away from the smell of her own cooking. Steamboat Warehouse in downtown Washington, Louisiana, along beautiful Bayou Catabla. The old ambiance of the Cypress Building. Sit out on, on the wharf there and enjoy a, a adult libation, maybe a nice uh, Bloody Mary with a pickle zodico. That's what we always talk about, of course, the wine selection, second to none. You can get everything from the good Angus beef to all your Louisiana Gulf seafood, all fresh, fresh, fresh. Uh, chef owner Jason good is always doing something very, very unusual. But all those old time things that you like so much, like the catfish palmetto, which of course is named after me being from Palmetto, <laughs> perfect dish to go have at the Steamboat Warehouse. Uh, a few days ago, maybe the, maybe could have, was probably on the last program I spoke mm -hmm. uh, about the death of uh, Dr. John Cobb, and I said uh, I felt I knew something about him, uh, and it did say that he had lived in Opelousas, but he was living at the time of his death uh, right there in uh, Lafayette. And I got a call from a, a longtime friend, Mr. Charles Bordelon, mm -hmm. who was one of the... Uh, owners of Baudelon Chevrolet downtown for mm -hmm. many, many years. And, of course, I've known Mr. Charles literally since I'm a young businessman. And uh, he called me. He says, uh, I, you commented that you thought that uh, Dr. Cobb was from Opelousas, and he said he was. In fact, he said his father and mother and family lived across the street from, uh, from Charles. So a little bitty, bitty well, but in, what that does to it lets me know that Charles is a viewer of the program, right. Get, took the time to call me, and uh, his, John's father was Elton uh, Cobb, and he was the manager at that time of American Department Store here in Opelousas, a large department mm -hmm. sure. store at that time. And, uh, and Dr. He, Dr. Cobb was relatively young, close to my age, I think. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say here. I don't know yeah. if he's that young. But he had a, a, a sister who has, has passed away, mm -hmm. and uh, she was married to one of the Cayuettes from Montpelusas mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Carol, and Carolyn Sue what was her name. So anyhow, uh, thanks, and, and uh, I, I, I was on the right track. I just didn't know all the details like I know now. Well, you and I talked earlier about uh, the Steamboat Warehouse. You know, they get together with Frank's downtown here in Opelousas, and over at Frank's have the uh, annual gumbo cook-off, and always to help somebody. And this year is to help young Julia Artigo, who's got a host of issues, different problems that, that are going on. If you go on Facebook, look for Julia Artigo, you'll find some information about the problems that she's fighting with. Uh, the cook-off's going to be January 28th, but just want to remind people now if you're looking for tickets call Frank's talk at the steamboat they'll have tickets available to you to help Julia out 
Uh, another person who uh, died and, and uh, a well-known person throughout this whole area uh, was Gabriel Sabil Jr. Well, he's known as Jimmy, Jimmy right. Sabil. Right. And uh, most people got to knowing him, of course, uh, from being right there in Sunset area, right. but also worked for the school board sure. in various uh, capacities all the way into the central office. And uh, uh, Jimmy, of course, I got to knowing him better in the last few years because he was one of the members of our hunting club over in uh, Winfield, Louisiana. Sure. And uh, real, real nice, friendly. I was able to go and uh, visit uh, with, with the family and offer my sympathies. So uh, Jimmy Sabil, he was very buried uh, last Saturday, if I remember. Yeah, that's correct. He was buried last Saturday. Mm -hmm. And one more, and uh, that was uh, Miss uh, Willie May and the family called the Momo Doucet, mm -hmm. and uh, age 90. And uh, I was able to stop by and visit briefly with some of the members uh, of the family. And uh, 90 years old, a mighty, you know, I, I read the these very carefully, I guess you could say. To make sure your name isn't in them. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> and one day it'll be in there, <laughs> but I won't be able to look for it, will I? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll call get, and let, let, let you know let when you I know. see your name. Uh, and, you know, that's happened to a couple of people. Oh, you, you, you and I have had to retrack an obituary more than once <laughs> yeah, on here. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and uh, another lady that, that passed away, and I, I don't know a, a lot of them, but mm -hmm. I know some of the members of the family. That's Miss Anna Lee uh, Mott uh, Stanford, right. and uh, she her uh, funeral was held last Saturday mm -hmm. also. And she's from the Opelousas that's, area here. That's all my people, my mama's that, people, the that, Stanfords. That that is correct. It sure that's is. That's it. We also got the uh, tourism is going to have the decorating and lighting contest is going to be judged next Wednesday. If you're trying to compete for decorating your house, you want to be considered. Call Liz Landry nine four eight six two six three. Uh, next Tuesday, well, I see I got Tuesday and Wednesday. Boy, they kind of messed me up there. But it's next Wednesday is the judging. But they want to get your information in by Tuesday is my understanding. So just give them a call over at City Hall. They will help you out. Uh, why don't you give the uh, LHC uh, sponsorship oh, I can real do quick? That. And you sure. can kind of I can say LHC Group, it. all your home health care needs. LHC Group can help you with the equipment, with the personnel. That's from the nurses to the, the rehab folks to the, to the um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Physical therapy. Therapy. therapy that's, that's the correct. word I'm trying to remember. They can help you with that as well. And you and I had a photo of them, Bo, and I wanted to show it real fast. How about this? You and I went last week to the VFW Lodge. Why don't we show that at the same time? While we're hitting uh, that, that would be LHC, perfect. we went down to the VFW Lodge over on, on, Li on Liberty Street and told everybody hello over there and got a picture of you with a bunch of the guys all involved with, with the American Legion from Mr. Ira Tate, Mr. Bob Gassiman, uh, Mr. Ken Thibodeau, and uh, who am I missing? Mr. Oh, Dickie, uh, Dickie oh, yeah. oh, yeah, of course. And there's a picture of the new uh, Veterans uh, Memorial that's coming up on the Sunset Highway. And by the way, when, when we get through with this, if, uh -huh. if you always act like you're in a big, big hurry, I'm always we in need a hurry. to go instead of right into town, we need to ride on there take some pictures. and take some pictures. Because they're working on it. Because they've oh, taken yeah. down old fences and uh, bushes that you know going to be in the way and everything else. They've started the clearing of the land. But th this event with the pictures of all, all our veterans, if, if you want to show the pictures again, Mark, was all put on by uh, LHC Group. They, they did a free health check, health clinic for all veterans that wanted to come by. And of course, we got the whole group there. And in the front, I see Miss Paul. And since I'm a veteran, they, checked, uh, they my, checked you too. My blood pressure was good. And of course, I, I know all the ladies, but in the front, of course, the, the, the loudest one, Miss Paula Mills. Good morning, <laughs> Paula. My good friend. And, and Miss Pat Mason Gilroy is there who's doing the penny drive still. If you want to donate to help out for the memorial, call Miss Pat Mason Gilroy over the and school board. And there's some bricks to be sold. You want you want your name and your family That in is there. correct. And of course, Miss Brandy Fontenot with LHC as well. So LHC, think about the fall your home health care needs, your palliative, your hospice care. They've got the Health and Wellness Center here in town, always very active in all the different events go going on. If you get their newsletter, you're going to see these pictures in their latest newsletter. Paula was telling me that uh, her daughter and uh, my daughter Megan have become real good friends. It's a little oh, bitty world. Very cool. <laughs> little bitty world. And, and Megan uh, uh, agreed with that. Now, you had anything else to say about LHC? LHC, you know, right. Last, <laughs> last Saturday was Champions Day right. uh, at the at the racetrack at, at fairgrounds, right. 
Oh, we, that ain't just, good. We forgot to put it on Hand silent. I'll turn it off. Or you got it. You, you're on the ball. And, and it's, uh, it's Megan's mama calling, so I don't know what, <laughs> what, what she wants. Uh, but anyhow, I'll call you back after a while, Ginger. Uh, it was Champions Day. Uh, right. Big, big uh, stakes races that day. Sure. And the uh, big stakes, uh, in fact, uh, uh, Keith and Ginger Myers, who were the mm -hmm. founding, some of the founders of LAC Group. Correct. Uh, they ran a first uh, and a second. That's not too bad. In two different races there. Right. So they have really come up with some real good uh, race horses. Uh, they started with some top line bloodlines mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to see them in the winner's circle on a continuous basis because they they're not I, I buy these little cheap claiming races horses but they're young people and they have some money and if you're going to be into it and over the long you know long term you want to buy you, some well-bred you, you're going to want to yeah. buy some well-bred horses and that's exactly what they did uh, they hired uh, a full-time uh, trainer to take care of their horses this particular gentleman uh, had a lot of experience working with Steve Asmussen the leading trainer in the United States mm -hmm. probably five or six times in the last seven or eight years so uh, they they're well, doing it the right way Keith and I grew up across across the street from each other in Palmetto. We might have rode some ponies, but there's nothing that we rode on that levee. When we rode, it wasn't like those jockeys that just hold with one hand and make it go with, with the whip. You had to you had to pull them over. And they always, they, <laughs> LAC no group helps continuously in oh, yeah. all the, the uh, areas they work. By far and, the biggest and, donor for the Veterans Memorial. I mean, they, they're heading it up. I they mean, they put up $100,000. That's a big event. That's, that's a big, Ooh. big event. How about right. this photo, too? Let's show this one, Mark, real quick. This is a newborn baby. That's Mr. Cole Michael Doucette, born to Miss Tanya and Chuck Doucette here in Opelousas, going home to his big brother, Drake. And, of course, Chuck owns Doucette's Vinyl Side. And Tanya is a Marine. So mm -hmm. just to show you that, uh, you know, you know, I always talk about that, that veterans don't just think about the, your grandpa. Nowadays, his daddy and his mama. So yep. young, 30 seconds for the commercial. Oh, yes. So. Uh, they 30 seconds. Go Christmas ahead. is a time for giving, especially to those less fortunate. And they have a picture of an eight-year-old third grader at Opelousas Catholic. And this, of course, is a little photo front page by none other than Freddie Herpin. And that's in today's, that's Wednesday's uh, Daily World. Good morning, Freddie. And uh, what her name is? Her Aubrey Aubrey Hidalgo. Aubrey Hidalgo. And her mama and daddy is Kip and uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Hidalgo. Folks, we'll see you on the other side of three, television and radio.